Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Z Grill 700 D4E versus the Yoder YS640 Pellet Smoker. We're going to be smoking up some beef ribs and we're going to see which one produces a better overall beef rib. Stay tuned. All right, let's grab my knife here. I'm gonna be using my fillet knife to trim up the fat and the silver skin on these ribs. All right, so here are the beef ribs that we're gonna be smoking today. These are Black Angus Choice. And as you can see, there's a lot of silver skin. Now I've seen people leave the silver skin on but this stuff is nasty and extremely tough, so I take it all off. In fact, I clean up the top of these beef ribs completely. I want to see nothing but meat and just a little bit of fat on the top. So I'm just going to clean these up a little bit. And part of the reason why you want to take all the silver skin off is because the rub will not stick to that silver skin, period. It's going to slide off and just not give you a good overall beef rib. It's real simple, it takes a few minutes. And if you guys know me, I love to trim meats. All right, so I've got this beef rib completely trimmed up. As you can see, I took off all the silver skin. That literally only took about one minute. Now I did leave the fat pockets in here. This fat will render down. So just leave that alone. I'm gonna trim this one up and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got both racks of ribs completely trimmed up. I'm gonna use some what's this here sauce as a binder. You guys can figure out how to pronounce it. I don't know one single person that knows how to properly pronounce this W sauce or what's this here sauce or whatever they call it. So just gonna add a little bit as a binder. Get your sides as well. So just in case you're wondering, I did leave the membrane on the back of these beef ribs. It's not like a pork rib where you can actually season some of the meat. On this one, it's mainly bone. So that looks good right there. So as far as the seasoning, I'm gonna add a light layer of this bovine bold. If you guys have never tried this, I highly recommend it. It's from Plowboys Barbecue. Just gonna add a really light layer, okay? Just a sprinkle, as you see right here. And also season your edges. Don't ever forget about your edges. Good gosh, that bovine bold and that what's this here sauce smell absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna to top this off with my SPG. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on my SPG, but not too heavy. This is salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and just a little bit of cumin. I will leave the recipe to my SPG inside the description box. You guys can check that out. Press that down. And don't forget about your edges. All right, I got my Z Grills pellet smoker along with my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker warming up outside at 250 degrees. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so let's load up my Z Grills first. And by the way, I am using Jealous Devil pellets on both smokers. So let's load this baby up. Look at these beautiful ribs right here. Just gonna put them with a the meaty side towards the left side. That's it, just close the lid. All right, so let's load up the Yoder Y640 pellet smoker as well. Here we go. Again, the meaty side towards that fire pot on the left side, bottom rack. And let's shut that door. All right, so I've got both of these smokers locked and loaded, running at 250 degrees. We'll check back on these ribs in a couple of hours. Stay tuned. 
All right, so the total cook time has been right at two hours. Let's check on our Z Grills ribs. Oh, yes. All right, so we're already getting a little bit of pullback on these ribs. That bark is almost set. It's nice and dry. I'm going to give that probably one or two more hours before I even start to spritz, but they're looking really good. Let's take a look at our Yoder. All right, let's check out our Yoder ribs. All right, so the bark on these ribs is not quite as set as our ribs on the Z Grills. And this was a bigger rack, and that's probably the reason why I don't have any pullback yet. So I'm gonna give these a couple more hours. I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, so the ribs have been on for four hours now. Let's check on our Z Grills ribs. Holy smokes, look at that pullback. These are looking really nice. And that bark is definitely set. I haven't spritzed or anything. So I'm gonna spritz now with some apple cider vinegar and water, mix it 50-50. Really liking that bark. Let's get an internal temperature. Ooh, those are tender, good lord. All right, so I'm already sitting at 193 degrees, and they are extremely tender. 180 on the back, so tell you what, I'm just gonna let these roll without being wrapped 100% of the way. Let's check on those Yoder ribs. All right, let's check on our Yoder Smokers ribs. Looking really nice, not as much pullback, but again, remember that this was a larger rack. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz. These are looking really good as well. Let's get an internal temperature here. All right, we're sitting at about 180 degrees. So again, the Z Grills ribs were smaller, so they're a little bit ahead of this larger rack here. So this has quite a bit to go. So what I'm gonna do at this point is every 30 minutes or so, just come outside and spritz it with apple cider vinegar and water until the internal temperature is over 200 degrees and it's nice and tender. Stay tuned. All right, so the ribs are ready and the total cook time on the small rack was six and a half hours and the larger rack was seven hours and 30 minutes, okay? So this is what we have. They have been resting for a little bit. Look at these monsters right here. So obviously you can see the size difference. This one was cooked in my Z grills. That's why it only took six and a half hours. And this one right here is larger. This one was cooked in my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. So I'm just gonna take them off and put them on a cutting board here. And let's do some comparisons here. All right, so as far as bark quality, both of them have really good bark. Now this one that was smoked in my Z grills does have a little bit darker bark. And man, that is really nice and tender. And my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker is a little bit lighter, almost like a reddish tint to it. Not sure if that's coming out on the camera. So let's slice them up and see what they look like on the inside. Let's check that smoke ring. Oh my goodness. This is the Z Grills beef rib. Look at that smoke ring right there. That looks really good. That bark. All right, so far I'm pretty impressed. Let's check the Yoder ribs right here. Try to cut right in between that bone. Oh man, these are meaty right here. All right, so this one right here definitely has a larger smoke ring, more smoke penetration, and it's really juicy. Now that probably has something to do with the ribs being thicker than the ones that I smoked in my Z grills. So, so far I can tell that the smoke penetrated deeper into the rib compared to the Z Grills rib. Okay, the Z Grills has a really nice smoke ring on the outside, and so does the Yoder, but I can tell that the Yoder ribs, the smoke penetration is deeper. All right, I'm just gonna slice up these ribs. We'll come back and give them a taste. All right, let's give these beef ribs a try and see how we did. First, I'm gonna try the Z Grills rib. Look at that beauty right there. There we go. All right, so that Z Grills rib, there is nothing wrong with that. Really good smoky flavor. I am really loving that bovine bold with my SPG. It's a hit. All right, so now let's try the Yoder Way 640 ribs and see how we did. Again, these look amazing. Here we go. Mmm. All right, so that Yoder rib is absolutely delicious as well. Now I am picking up a little bit more smoke on the Yoder ribs. 
and that's probably because it sat in the smoker for an additional hour compared to my Z grills. All right, so overall, I am really happy with the results of this cook. You guys have seen me cook a ton on my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker, and that's the only pellet smoker I've ever cooked on until the Z grills came along. And I gotta tell you, I am really impressed with the smoking capabilities of that grill. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.